Conservation in New Zealand has pioneered the use of offshore islands to create security from introduced pests and predators. And that security has allowed us to recover some of our most critically endangered species. Without it, we'd already be mourning the extinction of both Kākāpō and Saddleback, to name just two. And these achievements rely on one thing, biosecurity. On islands with public access, it's critical we all take responsibility for maintaining the value of these magnificent natural treasures. Hey, Rob. So Lisa, what are the species we're really worried about getting onto Carpeti Island? Well, primarily we're really worried about um, rodents, but of course um, mustelid families, stoats, weasels, ferrets um, are really important as well, and um, possums. So I know that Carpeti Island is a nature reserve and you can only come here by organised tours, but there are lots of pest-free islands that the public can visit in their own boats. What can they do to minimise the risks? A really good idea is to have um, rats rodent um, traps set on the boat or bait stations or bait stations. Um, they, if, a lot of people have boats that sit around in their garages all year, that sort of thing, or out moored in, in marinas, so it's really important that they thoroughly go through anywhere where they think something might be living, harbouring, um, and go through everything and make sure that there's nothing there before they leave for these islands. Any gear that's taken from boats onto the island needs to be thoroughly checked. Pockets, Velcro, socks, checking for seeds, insects that are very hard to see. People might not know that they're bringing them over as readily. But really, we are predominantly worried on Kapiti Island about those um, major pest animals. I know at the moment you think there might be a stoat on the island. How are you dealing with that? As soon as the dock staff member saw, actually saw a sighting, and it's a highly credible sighting at that stage for, for the rest of the staff, um, we would um, immediately activated all the tunnels, the monitoring tunnels on the island and baited them. Um, we had no response from that, but at the same time, getting more traps on the island, um, setting all of those, getting extra staff in to, um, to man those on an ongoing basis. Um, with a lot of communication uh, you know, with the landowners at the north end and the concessionaires in terms of the visitors all being educated so that they can be extra eyes for us as well. The traps themselves are about 400 metres apart across the whole island, um, even though this particular sighting was in the central part of the island, but of course they have huge ranges, Stoats, so um, we you know, obviously have to you know, look all over the island to make sure that it, you know, it hasn't gone further afield. How often do we... Uh check these traps? Well these traps are being checked every seven days mm -hmm. and as you can see this one's um, got an egg in it and we use egg of freeze dried rabbit. We have to make sure that the traps are being reset all the time to keep them in good working order. Yeah. Unfortunately there's no stoat in this one so we'll have to carry on. Okay. These pest free islands are incredibly special places and nature reserves like Kapiti Island are an absolute must to visit and enjoy. But in coming here, you accept a responsibility to help uphold their pest-free status. That way, you'll play your part in maintaining the value of these incredible wilderness areas.